morning to you. How you doing, Good morning, buddy? Morning, my friend. How are you? It is a delight to see you. Well, it ain't all that delightful. Let's be honest here. But oh, <laughs> <laughs> just been a buddy for a long time. Hi, everybody. Good to see you out there. Oh my goodness, it has been an interesting few days here related to the weather conditions in what state are we in? Confusion. Confusion, Paul Herring says. Good morning, Paul. Good to see you here Good today. Morning, Paul. Always a pleasure to be here. Kids. The kids are just fabulous and wonderful, although, uh, Marcus, they lost their game last night. I didn't think we did. I thought the score... I was told that they lost now. Wait a minute. Well, I looked at on, on the computer thing. What's it called? The web? The web. The internet. Yeah, really? And, and it, boys it varsity? Said really? seven fifty two that we won. No. He would have been a lot more excited when I happen? picked him up okay. than that. Oh my goodness. That's unusual. <laughs> yeah. Well, hi everybody. Uh, <laughs> International Academy of Lincoln. 2820 South Saginaw. The gateway to educational learning on the what side of the city? I'm the south side. South side. Miss Hillary Slater knows it. <laughs> Salter knows that. She's our guest today. We had a child and a mother might still be coming. We hope they do because we'd like to introduce you to them. Some great folks that we have. And uh, good morning, everyone, of course. We've said that three times because we're stumbling for other things to say. Well, you're <laughs> going to have to say it TV? again because yeah. you're on oh, TV. Oh, hi, Ray TV audience. It's glad to see you today, too, as well. Good morning, good morning, good morning, wherever you are. Although this tonight that you're seeing it is 7.30 Monday. And good evening to you, my friends. Well, Miss Salter, uh, we've had a, an interesting uh, Christmas holiday because of uh, an extra five or six days off that you got. Uh, I know that you're grinning still because <laughs> of that opportunity. That was wonderful. But we can't have any more because we're, we're out of days yes, yeah, we we anymore. And we're going to have to extend the school year or make up a Saturday or something, something like that. So uh, we're going to have to do the best we can to have great weather from here on out. And, of course, some districts... Uh, may already have to add if they didn't build in some extra days as they always seem to do and want to do and have to do simply because it's Michigan. All right, everybody, as you well know, we have Open Enrollment International Academy of Flint. And by the way, if you'd like to call, here's that number, here's that number, 239-5733, 239-5733. Uncle Jesse will answer that phone and he'll say, howdy, and then you tell him what you want and what, what question you might be, and then we'll direct that question to Hillary Slater, who is our special guest, because I'm not going to answer any questions today, Miss Slater. It's all on you. Because you've been doing it all Salter. <laughs> I kept saying Slaughter. It's Salter. S-A-L-T-E-R. Middle school teacher at International Academy of Flint will blow you away this morning with her in-depth answers to silly questions that I ask. <laughs> okay. Remember, folks, open enrollment, which means that any time of the year you come on by, take a look at our school first if you'd like to take a look. I know you've heard some things, and hopefully real good things, because uh, I think we mostly do pr pretty good things. I really mean that. We really do. And uh, I'll give you a tour. I'd love to do that. I just wait for that phone to ring. I, I fall asleep in the office frequently, Miss Salter, waiting <laughs> I, for that phone to I ring. Believe Did you believe you that? Do. <laughs> okay. oh, there's support for me, right? <laughs> and uh, we just love to give you a tour. Come on by on the day. See the kids, the teachers, the administrators in action. If you can't make it in the day, come on in the evening. We have after-school programs till 6.30. What time did he say? He said 6.30. Come on by. And you can see our kids in our wonderful Teen, uh, teen Quest program. We've got uh, probably 200-plus kids in the program from grades K through 8. And they are all over the place uh, learning stuff and having fun and laughing and giggling and just enjoying life for, for a while uh, after school. And, of course, we provide them a free meal as well, a free, totally free, zero-dollar meal. And they have That's a great the price time. I can afford. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody, come on by if you ha can't make it during the week. Come on on the weekend. Goodness, I'll go there right now today. Although at the moment I have to go to a uh, memorial service uh, after I leave here. One of our staff members and mothers passed away, and we need to go to that service. But uh, any time on the weekend that you'd like to take a tour, Saturday, Sunday, that's okay. Come on by. We'd be glad to do that simply to accommodate you so you can take a look at one of the finer schools, charter schools in the state of Michigan. That's not art talking. That is some awards that we received that allude to that, as well as Miss Salter. Uh, the U.S. News and World Report has, for about the seventh year in a row, has told us that we are among the very best high schools in America. And that's no play. That's for real. So that's an honor that we cherish. And I hope the uh, Flint uh, residents are aware of that. And if you aren't, I just made you. And uh, come on, come on by, take a peek. We've got some great people, great dedicated teachers. One of them, so that I can stop babbling, is on my immediate right. 
And Miss Salter, I've already spilled the beans, they say, and told them who you are and what you, <laughs> what grades you teach. But God bless you, Jesse. Jesse's sneaking away. So that was three allergies. In a row. I think he might My be allergic to me. That's winter. very possible. <laughs> anyway, uh, Miss Salter, why don't you uh, tell us stuff about you and what you do all day? Okay, and then we're going to talk about what you did last night. Okay, you did a great oh, thing last was, night. That went really, really well. Okay, we'll talk about Hillary the teacher. Okay, well, I'm a middle school teacher. I teach math. Um, everybody's favorite subject. Yay! And the audience <laughs> screams, yay! I teach 7th and 8th grade, and I love it. And the thing that I really like about the International Academy of Flint is that we take care of the whole student. So um, they, there's saying that it takes a village to raise a child. and I Heard think, it once or twice a million times? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we do a great job so of true. being yeah. part of that village, yeah. working with the parents and... Our staff all work together. Nobody works in isolation. Uh, we're mm -hmm. very supportive of each other and supportive of the kids. So if a student has a problem, there's lots of people mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. that care about it. Now, them. let's uh, take a We're doing some algebra there in 7th, 8th grade, aren't we? Yes, we are doing algebra, yes. Okay, uh, that might be ahead of some other schools, I, I understand, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. For It's where we're supposed to be according to the state, mm -hmm. okay. but um, a lot of schools... Um, are behind us, mm -hmm. so we. But we do have the support within the school. So if a student comes from another school, and they are behind, we have lots of resources to help them um, get caught up. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could mention one of them, RTI. You RTI. want to mention that? Would you please? Yeah, yeah. RTI is um, called response. It stands for response to intervention, and basically, when a student is struggling, which often it's pretty normal for a kid to start mm -hmm. to struggle with math. Um, it's a tutoring program that happens during the day, so it's not like the kid has to come before school mm -hmm. or stay mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. It happens right during the day, during their specials classes or uh, during student lifetime. And um, the I started at IEF the second time um, in the RTI program, so I know that it is run by mm -hmm. Susan Jones, and she does a great yep. job. Yep. The tutors are all very, very good at what they do. And so they're taking kids in small groups, and then they work on specific things that our data shows the student is weak in. Okay, so. did we have uh, five RTI teachers? You know, I'm not sure how many we have. But once you go into the classroom, <coughs> place, uh, in an RTI classroom, you won't see a row of desks and a teacher in the front. We've got about uh, five different teaching spots in that room, and they're all pointing different directions, so there's minimal uh, disruption in there at all by way of kids uh, hands up and walking in front and that sort of thing. And they all do individualized small group, two, three, four kids at a time, bringing them up to where they need to be. Absolutely. And uh, that's why it's a response to an RTI, response to intervention, strong program. It's in other parts of, of America and Michigan as well, and I'm sure Flint. But we, we have an entire staff of dedicated people. Now our school gets out at 3.30 and some of those RTI folks are there well past four o'clock working with kids after school, not being paid for it either. They're just devoting. Right, absolutely. And of course, much of that goes to the leadership of that program, who is Susan Jones, who was mm -hmm. a teacher for years with us, and then was fortunately moved into that role and has uh, done a great job, been a great leader, and a role model for the other teachers, you among them absolutely. at the time that you were there. So thank you for absolutely. mentioning Absolutely. She was great to yeah. work with, and again, the support is there, and <clears> that um, helps the, the tutors and the teachers all do their job. They, okay. Everybody works together. And I've seen, I've, I've had the privilege of working at other schools besides the International mm -hmm. Academy of Flint. Yes, and I've seen the RTI program in other schools, and I'm telling you, nobody does it better. Oh, wow. Now, see that? And I can't speak to that. Yeah, we do an excellent yeah, can, job. Kind of elaborate. Folks, <coughs> listen to that one now. Listen, I didn't, I didn't really know that. Why don't you maybe give, without a name of a school, just a comparison as to what might be going on in some other programs versus what innovation we have then created for kids to learn better quicker. Okay, so um, in, in the school that I worked with, and it was in Georgia, and um, they were just starting their RTR program, and they would pull kids out that were struggling based on grades, and then they would work with them, but they didn't have they didn't have the same kind of data. So Suzanne is... is really good at pulling out the data. Yeah, she's data driven. She is very say. data driven yes. and so you're not just working on 
okay, they're struggling in math, so let's help them in math. It's not that general. It's very, very mm -hmm. specific. So, for instance, the data shows that this particular student is really struggling with fractions. And maybe they're fine with multiplying and dividing, but um, adding and subtracting, mm -hmm. finding common denominators, they really need work on. Or maybe they're struggling with geometry in a specific area of geometry. So yeah, because our tutoring, RTI, goes more than just for the little guys. This right, it goes, it goes right. all the way through high school. Right. And, and that, you know, there might be a student that doesn't have a problem until they get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and especially with math, if you miss a concept, then moving forward in algebra or geometry or anything else, you're still yeah. going to struggle because that concept is going to stay in yeah. your, in it, your it's math. It's foundational. Yeah. You, know, you, you build the next, like build a house, right. basement. First floor, second floor, same thing with learning of all kinds, particularly math, so critical. Right. Because without the concept that you very good mentioned, um, there you can't, once you, if you don't get it, you'll have difficulty wherever that concept is related later on as you proceed through your, your course of study. Right, right. absolutely. And, and, so. and then the reading program, too, um, if students struggle with reading and comprehension, that's going to hurt them in all subject mm -hmm. areas. So they have computerized programs to help them with their reading um, while they're supervised mm -hmm. by the tutor to make sure that they're doing mm -hmm. what they're supposed to do. So we use technology and all that in the RTI yeah. program, yeah, so it's really good. A lot of computers in the school. It's like we have 130 in one room, as you well know. And that room is called? The computer lab. Well, the exam hall. Oh, the exam yeah. hall. Yeah, that's the one that has the big one. So we have two computer labs plus, and the exam yeah, hall. Plus the library computers, plus those plus, in RTI, right. plus those in the classroom. Plus those in the mm -hmm. classrooms. Plus we have laptop carts, and we have a new um, NAT book cart. Um, a what? It's like uh, not a computer, but it's like a... Um, it's kind of like a tablet, but it looks more like a laptop. Oh, now I'm with you. Thank you. <coughs> um, I'm technologically advanced. You know, yeah, well, I can't mind. remember exactly what they're called. <laughs> Paul is laughing over here, folks. Paul is laughing because he knows the truth. Okay. <laughs> so these little um, tablets do all the technology or all the web-based stuff that you can do. So that those I've used when I pull kids out. So I also tutor kids. Do you? Okay. And, and well, I know that. But yeah. I'm trying to well, make I'm I'm part. Part of the Title I funding uh, is I pull small groups out of my own math kids, mm -hmm. and I do each I do a group of students, different students, mm -hmm. once a week. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll use that technology. I'll get those little netbook things, and then there's all kinds of web mm -hmm. applications that they go go on and work on those skills that they're lacking. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that, and we have two two computer carts that are available for the gen ed teachers and then the special ed rooms mm -hmm. also have their own computer. Gen ed means general, a general education, education. Right. and then okay. the special education students also there's there's laptop carts in each of those mm -hmm. rooms. Okay. So the kids have to use, use the technology yeah, today if they're going to be successful and we're trying no to make question. sure that they have the opportunity to use that technology. Yeah, they're way ahead of me and the kindergarten just, kids are more than I do. Just keep I, art I out of there. I'm surprised he had not poked his eye out with his cell phone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? They call me Patch. What, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> he, he, he makes fun of me every Aww. week. You know, I think, Aww. audience, you should call in and tell Paul not to do that. Okay. <laughs> it only hurts because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. Okay. Well, Miss Salter, let me slide from our instructional program. You did a great job explaining that, by the way. Just great. Well, thank you. Now, folks, uh, I hope you listen carefully because all the variety of resources we have, computers, of course, and the way we utilize them and the item analysis stuff that we do on each kid so that they, we know exactly where they're, they're suffering or not suffering but have, struggling with a couple of areas and this foundation stuff that we build. So um, she's really uh, explained it very, very well at family. And... Uh, Again, you're going to get extra help. You're going to get extra attention. You got super. You can tell. You can tell the way she explained that dedicated folks who know their business, and I believe we can help your child uh, advance along real well. Remember, our diagnostic test is in Miss Hillary. What's it in? Reading and math. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean to wake you up. Okay. She nodded off for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we test them before they come in, so, so we know we can, where, they where they are and place them in the place them in the correct grade, right. that, that, so it. that they can be successful. So there's reason for that, not just to be mean and angry. Right. If they come to us in a, in a below where we are, we'll put them in the right grade. We never, never want a child to not succeed academically. Therefore, we'll put them in the grade uh, in which they can succeed. That's so important because if they are miserable in class, they're going to be miserable. 
miserable at home, miserable in the classroom, miserable life, and we don't want that to happen. So place them where they belong and let them move ahead at their rate of speed. But we do have an accelerated program, I will admit that. Yeah, it is. It is a challenging program, but you know the world is challenging, sure. and life is challenging. And life is yes, challenging. Yes, ma'am. Well put. Thank you. That's and so as good. our students get out into the, at, you know, um, college or the workforce, mm -hmm. they're not just competing against other people from Flint. They're yeah, competing the against world. people yeah. all over the world. Oh, it's a smaller world. Right, Every and we day. have to. We have to. Our students have to be able to yeah. compete, and that's what we're striving to do. Beautifully said. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to jump from the day school program what you were doing last night. A little fun stuff, a little fun stuff with the kids. Blab about that for yeah. a while, please. Well, I'm the sponsor of the National Junior Honor Society at the International Academy of Flint, and it is our first year. So they've had the National Honor Society. For the Society. Junior. It's right. the first okay. year for the juniors. And so <coughs> we had, um, the first thing that we did as a group, other than meeting and talking about what we're doing, is we worked with Art to help him prepare for Thanksgiving and, mm -hmm. and bag up uh, the food giveaway mm -hmm. things. So, so there's community service. Community now. service, Super. and that's the main focus of yeah. the National Junior Honor Society, and building leadership through community service. Mm -hmm. So we had our first fundraiser last night, um, and we had a movie night. We had four movies going on, and uh, students could pick their movie, mm -hmm. and we had about fifty students yeah. participate. Because I know what what you. Know, you you asked the kids for $3 three dollars. Three dollars. It was a three dollar yeah. donation. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we didn't have the popcorn like we planned, so there was a little bit of disappointment there. Oh, so okay. I need to pop popcorn and deliver it to those students that paid their three dollars, okay. so they don't feel like they got All ripped right. off. Well, we can we can maybe do that. We have Grandpa Bush. Grandpa Bush, are you listening, you raggedy <laughs> rascal? Uh, Miss Miss Salter, might maybe you can come in sometime, Bush, if you're listening. I hope you are. Uh, you're probably driving around in your new car, strutting around, cruising <laughs> through the city. See, I know stuff, okay? And uh, maybe you could talk to Miss Salter. Maybe we could do a special popping for those kids. Because Mr. Kids, Bush yeah. comes in every roughly second Saturday and oh, okay. pops popcorn for mostly lower school teachers. Okay. okay. But I think he might be able to help you with this. Okay? That would, would be that great. Be, would that that be would good? be awesome. Okay, Bush, I got you pinned to the wall, buddy. you got to be there. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let's make it easy on him. Six o'clock Sunday morning, Bush. Be there, Salter. Be there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that probably won't work. Okay. He'll be up, but uh, let's Bush just talk with Miss Salter this coming week. Okay, my friend. Well, uh, thank you, Miss Salter, for all this information. Uh, let's see, uh, Junior. How many? By the way, how many in Junior uh, uh, Honor Society? Uh, I think we have like eighteen okay. students. Okay. And yeah. why don't you just maybe some of them are listening? Could you mention the officers? If you know them. Oh, let me see if I can remember them all. If you can't, just make up the names. Nobody will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better with first names than last okay, names. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah. Rachel Gatterson is yep. our president. Oh, sure, sure. Joseph Johnson is Got our vice yep. president. Got him. Uh, Jaslyn, I'm not. I'm going to need a last name. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. not thinking of, that's not coming to me okay, right okay. now. Is our, um, sec Secretary. is our, no, treasurer. Treasure. And Naima Smalley okay. is our secretary. Yeah, I knew the Smalley family. I wonder if it's the same family from years ago. I, I hope it is. That'd She's be great. an awesome student. Okay. Well, and they're all great. I'll and have they have to have that. a certain grade point average in order to make it into the... Um, sure. What is that GPA? Um, it, it's it's about eight point... point or 3.8, okay, 3 about 8. that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's, these are solid, solid academic Solid, yeah, yeah, very solid. <coughs> and then we have a team, I have a support team that I consult in choosing the students, and they have to um, accept or recommend them or not recommend so them. So that's made up of your middle school teachers? That's, yeah, least, that's made up of middle okay, school teachers. Okay. Who's that middle school uh, AQC? What's an AQC, you say, out there? Explain <laughs> what an AQC is, Miss Salter. And AQC is the Academic Quality Controller. So that must be with the A and the Q and the yeah. C stand for, duh, okay. And? And it's currently Melissa Vincent. And she's in the process of transitioning. <coughs> and it'll be um, Joyelle Grenade. Yeah, it will be. She's training her right now. For that. Training her right now, okay. yeah. Now that AQC, very important because we have three of them. We have one for K3, kindergarten through grade three, and that AQC concentrates on academics only, as does Melissa in middle school, and 
Beth Cutler in our 912 grade. So we've mm -hmm. got three AQCs whose primary responsibility, of course, is teacher evaluation, making sure kids are academically on target, on focus, making sure that our pacing is accurate, the teachers are following that, and just making sure the academic program is par excellence. So that's what those folks are responsible for. And it's a daunting task, and because uh, we look at every single test of every single kid, we take a look at every single week that they test because we test kids every week based upon what they were exposed to the previous week. So it's constant evaluation, and that's why we are so data-driven. We're always looking at what they're doing, where the fault might be if there is one, why is this child falling behind. And then if appropriate, every kid will have a bad week, that's not a problem, but every uh, if there is a consistent uh, falling behind, then we can refer them to the RTI, RTI program. program. Yeah. See, there's a plan, folks. There's an absolute plan for this, and it's really great, and it ultimately does Two words, helps kids, and that's what this school, International Academy of Flint, is all about. We have a call, okay. Well, hi, somebody, thanks for calling. How may we assist you? Just call him and say hi to everyone. Just Miss Parker. Hello. I, can you reduce the, I, the, 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 the echo is hard for me to hear, Paul. Somebody, Paul, yeah, Paul uh, <laughs> Jesse, please repeat, sir. I, I think it was a sir, wasn't it? Yes, calling to say hello. Okay, hello, somebody. Who was it? Can you hear me? Now, yes, very clearly. I'm calling to say hi to everyone. Well, That's thank you. Doctor. She was my math teacher for a while. Oh, good. Who is this? And to it, Marquise. Oh, hey, <laughs> Marquise, how you doing? Pretty good. Wow, Marquise, thanks for calling. I even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I? <laughs> well, Marquise, this is great. Thank you for listening, number one, and number two for Miss Salter. I'm putting you on the spot, buddy. What was the best thing you learned uh, through the teaching of, of Miss Salter, how she taught? Well, what was the best thing that you were, uh, that, that re remains in your memory that allowed you to call? She always pushed us to do better and to reach our expectations. Wow, well put. Thank you. That's kind of what, that's worth a high five. That is. That's a high six <laughs> if I had one more finger. <laughs> Way to go. She was the one who spent a lot of time helping me when I was going through a crisis with my health. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of aware of that as well. And boy, and you're 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 on the road to recovery here, that's for sure. Um, that is, but Marquise, just thank you for calling. That was a, such a a great surprise. Um, now, what are you doing in math? Uh, now, of course, Marquise is in ninth grade now. As you well know. Oh, Marquise, so what, do, what do you got in math now, buddy? Um, what do you mean by what do I have? Well, what, do you, what are you studying in terms of your, your math? What are you in Algebra 2? Oh, we're in, yeah, we're in algebra, algebra right now. Okay. And what, are you, what concepts are you working on? Right now we're on percentages and ratios and all that. Okay. Uh, ask him a percentage question. <laughs> no, no. This is Saturday. It's time, time off. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's time off. Well, Marquise, thank you. Uh, what are you going to do the rest of the day? Um, right now, I'm cooking, and that's about it. Cooking? Okay. Uh, I'll be right over. <laughs> I like that word. Okay. No, from here, I have to go to memorial service. But, gee, Marquise, thank you. Anything else you, you want to say Marquise. about... Um, Anything that's on your mind with with our school? Any other things you might want to talk about? Um, not really. Just I love Miss Sauter and I thank her for everything. Oh, I okay. love you too, Marquise. Okay, uh, this is this is getting emotional here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Marquise, thank you. I, I appreciate the calling. Thanks so very much. And my best to Marzell and Mom. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks so much. I, I appreciate that. Very nice of you. Bye -bye. All right. What a nice what a kid. What a surprise. What that a was surprise. so nice. Oh, my gosh. Um, one thing that Marquis did bring up, though, that I would like to mention is that when a student is not well, um, and I don't, I haven't done this with other schools, but if a student is out for a length of time, mm -hmm. we will go to where the student oh. is. We'll go to their sure. home. We'll, I've gone to the hospital. Yeah. To work with students. That's a little unusual. Yeah. Going to the hospital. I didn't yeah. know about that. I Normally have, we, 
go to a library alternate. I've and, gone to the or, library. Or at their home, which is even better. Yeah, yeah. I've done I've done them all. I've okay. gone to their home, I've gone to the hospital, I've gone to the library. I thought you said you, you taught them in the mall. Or did no. you say all? Oh, <laughs> I've done them all. I have not gone to the, the mall. Center oh, court right there, all you all you shoppers back off, please, a hundred yards <laughs> we're instructing here. I think that might be a little distracting. <laughs> might be a tad distracting. Thank you for that. Jesse, are you about to say something? Yeah. Uh, if you got up. one of those long outros, well, <laughs> we have time uh, to do it. 1,814 <laughs> words, yes, but who's okay, counting? Because we gotta, we got to pay respects to Martin Luther. Oh, so. oh I, okay, so yeah. what is that, about two minutes of respect? And I mean that in a very positive yeah, way. Depending on which one's playing. Okay, so we really have to close off early. Oh, that's yeah. right, everybody. Martin, yeah, let me talk about that. Jesse, thank you. Yeah. Thank oh, you. It's Martin Luther welcome, King Day Monday, you know, of course. We've been doing it all weekend. And well, I, I heard the, at the end of the prior program, I heard that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's uh, Martin Luther King Day Monday, of course, no school. But there's much more uh, of, a, of a message than that. Um, it's all that he stood for and all that have been accomplished since that time. It was a struggle for him naturally through life, and unfortunately his life ended far, far, far too soon. But I think uh, America's taken a good spot in making that a national holiday, deservedly so, without question. And uh, just a, a great, great man. Never, uh, never had the privilege of being in a crowd where he spoke, nor uh, shake his hand or anything of that nature. But I don't think you need to have personal contact with him to really understand um, the impact that he had oh, on the world. On the on world. The world. Yeah, he's one of the greatest ever. Uh, peace people, so we need to take a look at that. Jesse, thank you so much oh, you're for welcome. bringing that up. Would it be time for me to close? Yeah, this? go ahead. Jesse, is you okay? Now, Miss Salford, we have an unusual clothing, clothing here at Hedger Sessions. You're going to have to join me when I get to that point, but prior to that, we always select a letter of the alphabet, and we try to do some alliterations with that. Okay, so if you can bear with me, this will take probably two or three days. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Are you looking at your blog, walking in a fog, or feeding your dog? Or are you bouncing big, bold, burgundy, bodacious basketballs while blatantly bundling bunches of bushy blue begonias and bushels of bamboo baskets of bananas, boiling in buckets of bubbling bitter beans and broccoli, borrowed from a bragging, boasting, blabbing biologist based in Belfast, Barcelona, or Bangkok, listening to Bo Diddley saying bye-bye to Bigfoot in Brazil, Barbados, or Botswana. If you are, then we'll get to the bottom of the